It is time for another night vision edition of Minecraft Bingo Seed Challenges. This is Seed 2605, where the goal is to get bingo as fast as possible without having ever watched anyone else play this card. I spent a lot of time looking at this card because this has an interesting spawn point and that there's a dungeon visible on the surface right when you start. I don't know that that's going to change anything. We'll try to see if we can pop into the dungeon, and if it happens to be a dungeon that has a golden apple and some redstone for a compass, then we might switch over to the fourth column. I think the winning version is going to be to go the diagonal from the flint down to the minecart and basically go for the 12 iron and a bone, as well as the mushroom stew and the flint. However, if there's a pumpkin visible anywhere near spawn, the fourth row is also a possibility. Uh, first column and fifth row are also not too difficult, but the chicken egg seems like it's going to be too long to wait for on this card. That seems like an easy card. But my hunch is I'm going to be going for that diagonal. In any case, that's a lot of analysis for what will hopefully be a short card. Let's see how it goes. All right, start go. I'm going to avoid immediately going by the dungeon to try not to spawn any bad guys there. And instead, we'll come up and knock down some of these trees to get things started. Get a little bit of tools. There are cows here, but I think this is going to be a quick enough card that I might not even bother trying to get any food. Um, I'm trying to decide, let's see, for wood. I need some extra wood to make the bowls for the mushroom stew. Yeah, and I would like to avoid getting within range of that. So let's go ahead and just make our tools over here. And then we'll run into that dungeon, hopefully and be able to loot it. Hopefully it'll at least have some iron. Um, yeah, we'll see how things go. I don't know, this is one of those cards that makes me nervous. And let's see, do I need everything here? Um, I do need a shovel. I don't think I need an ax. I almost always make an ax, but let's just do 11 iron instead and make sure that we have enough wood to get our uh, bowls going on. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and craft the bowls right now. So I've got that, and I've got that, and then we will do this to get a shovel and, oops, a sword, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have to pick this up again, I forgot about that. Uh, do I need to pick this up? Probably. So we'll do that. Uh, there happens to be an apple over here, which is better to have a little bit of food than no food at all. Uh, and then we're going to try to run over to this spawner. And I can even probably get some light from above. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to jump in kind of from right here. Oh, and I might have just... Did I just, like, uh, get a sapling somehow magically? Uh, oh, it's skeleton dungeon. I need a bone. Uh, and so that's a good thing. And sadly, I've somehow missed the dungeon. <laughs> Isn't it right here? Yes, it's right here, but... I apparently went too far over and ended up in the corner of it. Uh, that's okay, because... Oh, wow. Um, there's my redstone. And I don't remember if the saddle was on the card. Okay. And I do actually need a... Uh, what do you call? A bone. I probably should have made sure I got the bone before I killed that skeleton. Okay, great. Um, so we got all of those things. Um, and there is some coal here that I will need to use for smelting. And then we just need to get downstairs uh, pretty much as soon as possible, I think. Um, I'm already losing track of what's on this card, so let's do this, and let's also see if I got the spruce sapling, because that's very important. Alright, I did. Uh, or it could be very important. Uh, but I don't have the golden apple, so we're still going for what I thought I was going for, uh, I think is the moral of the story here. Uh, chickens could lay me an egg, and so and they've been here since spawn, and so that's actually a possibility as well. Do I see a cave? I need to get down and get some iron as fast as possible. Uh, and I'm not seeing a cave yet. The chickens will be in range uh, for a bit over here. And it looks like there's a cave over here. Okay, so let's... Um, yeah, except for I don't have my mushroom, and it's not a cave. It's a uh, lava pool. All right, mushrooms will be easier to find on the surface. So let's try to go discover that. Oh, and I need this. Let's get it while I'm thinking of it. Uh, flint, 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 flint. All right, I at least can redig those up later if I don't find any other gravel pockets easily nearby. Um, there's one of the mushrooms. Great. And it looks like there might be a cave entrance over here. And so I could go looking for the other mushroom. Oh, and I forgot to run my night vision. Um, that was, that was silly. 
Um, yes, looks like this is going to go downstairs. There's that thing. Let's see if we can find the iron. Uh, this is not actually going down, is it? Maybe it will over here. Yeah, it's going down over here. Uh, I hear a bunch of skeletons. Kind of scared. Uh, oops. Skeleton's coming after me. He might not be able to catch me, though. Uh, or maybe he will. Maybe he's gonna help... Alright, help me get to some iron, anyway. And I'm gonna do this. So that the skeleton can't shoot me while I'm down here. Let's get this going. And I'm pretty sure I grabbed at least one piece of coal, so I'll be able to start cooking this up. Oops, crap. Start cooking this up. Yes, I did. Good. Um, and so... Alright, so we can get that all going. Um, so the things I'm gonna make are the that and that, which just require iron, and I already have enough just about to get one of these things. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll craft the minecart. And then we'll try to find seven more iron to get the cauldron, and we're still looking for the, the, uh, stew. Uh, and this I'm gonna go ahead and grab, and then the skeleton will come around this way, and that's fine. And this is going to take a while to bash down, but I'll wait for the skeleton to get here. Great. And then I can take this down, and we'll go back up, and we'll try to find some more iron. And that is all finished cooking. Great. All right, and I have some food that I can use if and when I need it. And I probably need some blocks to get up here. Uh, oh, I've got 20. Okay. Okay. All right, so we need to get five more iron, I think, in order to craft the cauldron. Uh, here's one, two. That's gonna be all that we have there. And then we need to find the other mushroom. And I do still need to get the flint. And so let's dig through this in case it connects. I think I just heard an enderman. So there might be more cave behind here. And hopefully we'll manage to get our flint in the process. There we go, there's the flint. Yeah, go ahead and blow up, please, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some food. And here's the rest of the iron. Great. And the enderman I don't think is going to help me. Let's go ahead and get my furnace cooking all this stuff again. Uh, like so. Okay, and then I just need to find a red mushroom. So I'm going to take a quick peek down here in case there happens to be a red mushroom underground. Um, but I doubt that I'm going to find it. And then if not, we'll head back upstairs and try to find the red mushroom up there. And then I think that's everything that I'll need to do. Oh, there's another uh, spotter in here. Is there any way that this could help me? I don't think that there is. It could have the iron already faster. Um, there's, an, there's some more iron. Okay, great. So I don't even have to wait for all of the iron to cook, although it's probably cooked at this point. And I have a crafting table on me, and so I can just set it down immediately over here. Um, and even use it as a step if I need to, which I don't. All right, and so I've got enough, and so I'll be able to craft. Yeah, I can use this step right here. So I can do this. I can craft this just like that. And now we just need to go find a red mushroom, uh, and I think we'll be good. And so let's hope that we can find a red mushroom in a reasonable amount of time and also stay alive while we do it. And I think we'll at least make a decent time on this one. I can't remember if the surface was back up here. I believe that it was. Uh, yeah. Somehow I managed to get my blocks off the bar, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, all right, red mushroom, red mushroom, red mushroom. Pretty sure I already got the ground mushroom, but just in case somehow I missed that, uh, we'll pick up another one since it was right there in front of me. And I think, oh boy, another. All right, there's a, um, and did I get sugar? Do I need sugar? There's a red mushroom. Okay, let's get the red mushroom. Let's craft the mushroom stew. I think that was actually it. Um, and without an ax, it might actually take a little bit more time. There we go. Uh, doop, doop, doop. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with this, assuming this is bingo. It is bingo, hooray! Seven minutes and 58 seconds. Yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. I think this was a reasonably easy card. And definitely the night vision helps in terms of being able to blitz through some of those caves to get the iron that we s were seeking. And yeah, managed to pick up a few other items along the way as well. All right, that was pretty fun. I'm pretty pleased with that. And look forward to comparing scores with all of you. Um, and yeah, do I have anything to make an offering to myself? Uh, a name tag is a pretty precious item. 
And so <laughs> I will leave an aim tag as an offering to my own head. Uh, yes, as I was saying, I look forward to comparing scores with all of you on this particular card. Once again, I got 7 minutes and 58 seconds, and I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.